Hey, it's T. Um, just wanted to share with you some things really, really quickly. Um, God is good. All the time, God is good. Amen. Um, I had a baby last year in one of my previous videos. You saw my son. And um, I haven't gone back to work yet. And um, on my first attempt to return to the same job I was working, I was told, you know, no, we're not really hiring at this moment. It's kind of slow. And basically, good luck. So I, I, I sat around and I let the devil get me down, get me depressed, get me sad, because the devil is real. And I allowed him for just about two weeks to keep me down. And so finally, I was like, you know what? No. And an opportunity to go and seek further into this job. And God said, do it. You know, just do it. I got up. I wasn't really feeling it, but I had a dream about it. So I said, you know what, let's keep pushing. But I wasn't feeling it, you know, and things kind of weren't going 100% to plan. So I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't go. I drove up to it. I'm in my car right now. Um, I drove up to the location and I was like, mm, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. And I finally said, something said, open the door. That was God. God said, open the door. So I opened the door. I step outside and I see one of my former coworkers. So we just start talking or whatever. And, um... In talking, he says, you know, well, maybe you should go inside because they're, you know, in a different state that they were than they were two weeks ago. So I'm like, okay, you're right. So I go ahead, I go inside. I'm greeted with such warmth and happiness that, like, I just, I can't even explain. I go ahead and I learn that I got to start over from, from jump. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with starting over. Although I've been with the company for four years. I mean, we would all love to not have to start over. But that's neither here nor there. That's minor. So I went ahead and said, okay, I'll start over. Spoke to a new manager that has never met me before. Quickly just ran off all of my expertise that I could fit into 40 seconds. And he gave me the face like, Oh, so give me one second. He comes back and says to me, come in on Monday for an interview. God is good. All the time, God is good. Amen. I'm not coming on here to preach. I don't want to preach, but sometimes when we have good news, we don't share that good news because the good news gets better. Okay, so now I'm like going to work. Child care. I met someone, I do jewelry, as I might have said, or you might have noticed in my other video, I mentioned doing jewelry. I was in a craft store one day and I met this woman. And she just started talking to me. We started talking about things. And eventually she tells me she had a good friend that owns a daycare center. So I said, oh, okay, you know. She gave me the number and I said, I'll give her a call. Well, of course, after just leaving possible job employment, which I'm so excited of, thank you, God. I said, let me give her a call. The woman picked up the phone. Okay, wait, come a little closer. The woman picked up the phone. She was like, it was like we were friends. Like, I've known her for so long, you know? And it's like, wow. She said exactly the things that were on my mind. She said it. Like, she just answered any question I might have had. She, she answered it. So she said, come in on Sunday. Now, did you, did you listen? Today's Thursday, okay? Monday's the interview. She said, I can come in on a Sunday and review, go over, ask questions, take a tour her child, of her child care agency. That is just... <laughs> I could cry, but I'm not going to because I'm on camera, but God is good, okay? So now I have a job interview on Monday, in which I thought I had no hope of working. I was getting so deep down and depressed. My son's going to be a year next month. My birthday is in November. Hello, Scorpios. Holla. God is good. Um, and it's all falling into place within days of each other. And it just I just wanted to share this good news. And I want to share this with you too. Through Christ who strengthens me, I can do all things. If you are down right now and you feel like you know, nothing's going your way. Just give it time. Just give it time. I'm going to take this from the bronze goddess. She said, you know, it's not a matter of why not me, God. It's a matter of when. Sit and be patient. Treat Heavenly Father like he is your father. If you want something from your parents or family members, significant other, you come to them, you ask them, you communicate. 
You express what's on your mind. I asked God, I said, God, please, I cannot have my child become a year or me become a year older without having any money. You know, I have savings, but who wants to depend on their savings now? I'm still young. Savings is for when it rains for real. It's been raining for almost a year, but it could possibly rain even more, and I want it to be ready. So I said, God, you know, I want to work, and I want to find some place where I can leave my son where I don't have to be at work worrying. Not only is the pay rate of the daycare center something that I can afford, I set the hours. I can save for how long. Now, anybody out there who has children knows there's not many places like that where you can say for how long you want your kid to be there, and they go by hour. It's an initial fee, which is a registration fee. That's fine. And then you pay per hour, per needed. God is good. Like, and if you're in the New York City area, and after I go on my interview on Sunday and you're looking for child care, I will forward her information if I love it. So far, just in speaking to the woman on the phone, I'm so excited about going there. So, I just, in recap, God is good. Be patient. God hears you. He hears you. But maybe it's not just right now. Maybe you're not finished learning your lesson. Because I was at the bottom. No, you don't understand. I was at the bottom. And God said, now. And he kept pushing me. And insisted that I can that I still drive here, that I get out of the car. I got here and the devil was like, Don't get out the car. That's nothing. You you don't need to work. You don't need to make money. You don't need to provide for your family. My husband does so much. And it's like if I could have a chance to do too, that's where I want want to be. I want to be able to do and provide. And God said, Get out this car. Go in there. You speak to them for yourself. You let them see your personality, who you are, and give them a taste of what you have to offer. And look what happened. God is good. Um, just some quick shouts, shout outs. Um, excuse me. Jalicia, my girl, from my very first video, commented and subscribed. You are my girl. And I just want to let you know that... God hears you. And whatever it is that you need or whatever it is that you're trying to do, God hears you. Just a special shout out to you exclusively for your support from the beginning. And a lot of times we miss, you know, an opportunity to thank those that were there for us in the beginning. And I want to thank you for being there for me from the beginning. Since I'm in such a kumbaya mood, I might as well just spread the kumbaya. Right? Right. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you got some kind of inspiration or I hope you felt like, well, you know, that could happen for me too. And just thank you all around. And I'll say it again. God is good. So, uh, till next time. Bye.